Hi everyone. I am really amazed by the progress made by the uh, open source alternatives to uh, Airtable. And um, I wanted to share uh, with you uh, some performance tests that I've been running uh, on two Airtable alternatives, uh, NoCodeDB and BaseWorld. Um, so what I've done basically is that I've uh, just uh, installed um, <clears throat> base row and NoCodeDB open source uh, solutions on uh, Heroku based on uh, one click uh, installation. So now I have them uh, running. I've created one table here uh, in NoCodeDB and one table with the same column names in our table and the same in here in, in base row. So Bayesrow and NoCodeDB are hosted uh, in Heroku. And what I've done is that I've created a very basic uh, um, piece of, of program of code um, where I'm just uh, running a loop with 100 uh, iterations where I'm creating um, for each one of these tools um, creating 100 records and the idea is to uh, monitor the runtime of each one of them and see uh, which one is the fastest uh, both uh, when creating records one by one and when using uh, bulk um, bulk records creation when it's available so let's start with a test on NoCodeDB. Uh, we're gonna run this first test. So basically uh, the, the program is logging the ID of each uh, record which is created in NoCodeDB. And we can uh, actually have a look uh, here at the screen. NoCodeDB doesn't update uh, the screen uh, instantly. You have to click um, refresh here. And we can see that some records have already been created. Um, yeah, yeah, now it should be over. That's right. So we have the figure here, 33 seconds more or less to create 100 records. 33.5. Okay, so that was the first one. Um, <clears throat> the, yeah, the cool thing about NoCodeDB is that uh, you can actually run the APIs directly here in, uh, in the Swagger, uh, which means that you can, for example, use the delete all uh, endpoint to clear your table. So that's what I'm going to do. And you see it instantly deletes all the lines in your table. So that's pretty cool. And uh, now let's run the same test for uh, base row. So same thing here. Uh, it's a loop with 100 records. So let's run it. So same thing, logging the uh, ID of each created record. And we can see that it's a bit faster than NoCodeDB. So uh, we're going to probably have a better performance with base row. Okay, around 23 seconds. So that's significantly faster than NoCodeDB, one, one third um, <coughs> faster. Um, and let's check the results. Yeah, all the records have been created here um, in base row. The issue with base row is that uh, I couldn't find a way to select uh, to select all the records. So you either have to delete the records one by one like this or 
um, well, I've created a small uh, script here to just call their delete uh, endpoint, uh, but there is no way of uh, deleting all the lines. Yeah, that's probably something they can improve, but otherwise the performance is great on Bayesville. And now let's run a test on our table. Same thing, one, 100 records. Let's have a look. So you can see that the ID created in our table are a bit different. Let's check the table. Yeah, our table is refreshing uh, instantly. So you can actually see the records as they are uh, created. It's fast, but but probably not the fastest of of the three um, APIs that we are testing. Um, let's wait until the end. Okay, forty two seconds. So actually. Uh, it seems that when creating records one by one, Airtable has the slowest uh, API, slowest data API, followed by NocoDB and Bayesworth seems to be the fastest. But the thing is that uh, Airtable and NocoDB both have a bulk API endpoint where you can create uh, data in, in bulk uh with Airtable there is a limit of 10 records at at uh, for each api call for nocodb i don't know but i've said the same thing so let's test uh the same um thing but with the bulk endpoint so let's run it here so for the bulk endpoint what i've created is uh, two nested loops um one loop which is creating 10 uh, records and another loop which runs 10 times so it's going to run 10 times the creation of 10 records so let's run it <clears throat> okay so you can see that the records are created 10 by 10, and that's very fast. Less than five seconds to create 100 records. If we go back to the R table, now we can see here it started again at zero. We can see that now we have 200 records and that it was, they were created very fast in less than five seconds. Now let's run NocoDB's uh, bulk um api so here it's also sending the result and you can see it's even faster uh, super fast when creating data in bulk and unfortunately base row uh, i've checked their documentation and i couldn't find uh, any um, bulk API endpoint. So it seems that for now, Bayesworth only offers the possibility to create records one by one or delete one by one. So this is our final result. So when um, having, when creating records one by one, Bayesworth seems to be the fastest. Uh, when creating in bulk, NoCodeDB is the fastest, but uh, all in all, um, it looks like the open source solutions are uh, have very good performance compared to uh, Airtable, so the uh, um, hosted uh, paying solution. So I hope you found it interesting and, and let me know in the comments what you think about this test and maybe how it could be uh, improved. Thank you. Bye-bye.